Welcome back to your Stay in Your Lane. I'm John Maley. I'm your host with Triple T Transport. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects. Got a lot of them, but this one's, uh, this one's pretty important. I've uh, got some special guests today uh, talking about partnerships. You know, it's a term we, we see and we hear being thrown around. In our industry, it means many different things from many different people. And depending on what side of the table you're on, uh, you may be may be thinking you're a partner and you may not be a partner, but, uh, you know, I thought there are some people that I, I truly believe are great partners and I wanted to ask both of them to be on today. So today we've got uh, Nathan Holmes with Organic Valley. Nathan, if you'd like to say hi. Good morning. All right. Good morning. And Joe Lombardo, Iggy good Avenue morning. Associates. Hi, Joe. How are you? Good. How are you guys doing? Good. So, yeah, I think the to start things off here, I, I'd like to know, so I'll go to you first, Nathan. What makes it a partnership rather than a business relationship? Communication and negotiation. Um, you know, if you are just doing transitory, you know, uh, business, you know, bids and so forth, uh, there's no communication, no negotiation of stuff, um, you know, partnership is all about what's beneficial and what works for both sides. Um, you know, it, it can't be a one way street from either, either way, you know, whether it's from the shipper or the carrier. I agree with that. I think yeah. that, uh, Joe, where, where are you at? Yeah, I would agree. It, it can't be one way. Um, uh, like you said earlier in your opening, John, the, the partnership gets, uh, tossed around a lot in our business. Uh, you're a partner one year and the next year, if there's a change in the market, you're not a partner. Uh, to me, a partnership, it runs deep. I mean, it's, as Nathan said, it has to do with communication. Also has to have a certain amount of openness where the car carrier can come to his partner and say, Hey, you know, this is affecting my business. If we can work on these things, I can give you better service or a better price. So it's, it's openness. It's a lot of sharing of information. It could be even you bring the carrier in to you, to the shipper's planning process a lot earlier so that so you can get the carrier perspective. So it's just more of an open relationship, and uh, I'll stop right there. Um, I'm going to tell you how I look at it. This is a passionate thing for me because I think that this is, the, this is where, I, where we see a line. If we will do things for a client that we know aren't profitable, and we, we choose to do them anyway. More than likely, that's for someone that's a great partner and a, and a great client, and, a, and we have that partnership and that relationship. Uh, and then vice versa, if I need something, and I'm in a spot and I need something, and the, the shipper or client that I'm working with will, will do something that you know, may not be beneficial to them, but to help us, that kind of solidifies to us that this is a real partnership. Sure. sure. Absolutely. I think when you take the spreadsheets out and you get to the, to the real working relationship, it's about transparency, uh, loyalty, and trust. And I think they're all kind of tied in together from a communication perspective, Nathan. I know you said communication. Uh, you know, Nathan uh, is, is a great partner. That open communication and trust is where, where the foundation is set for a partnership. The fact that if we have something to discuss, uh, I'm not just talking to you. You rally the group. Um, you have the whole team there. Uh, everyone takes their piece. Everyone is involved. You communicate issues proactively. That is a huge plus. Um, you know, we had the one distribution, not distribution center, the warehouse uh, that you guys were having some detention problems at. And uh, we were able to get some standing appointments for you guys. What worked best with your schedule and their schedule um, to get that achieved. And, you know, I've really not heard anything, any issues since then. So, you know, just the, the fact that everyone is involved, everyone cares, um, you know, is one of the things that really stands, you know, you guys stand apart from the rest of the, of the industry, or at least most of our partners. I mean, I do have some uh, other carriers that, 
you know, are very proactive communicators, but you guys really do set the bar high. Well, that's great to hear. I, I think our goal is to bring value from every perspective possible so that you, you know, you see it from a motivational perspective. And when that's genuine, uh, that comes across. It's a pretty strong thing. But I think you're not giving yourself enough credit. I, I think that you and Organic Valley uh, also reciprocate. You know, you say, hey, this is what we're thinking about doing. You know, how, how, would, how would this be? You know, would this work for you? What would, you know, we, we run things by each other uh, to try and set each other up for success. Uh, and, and from a problem-solving perspective, I think we're always on the same wavelength. We want to, you know, bring you the best solutions and, and be the best partner that you can look for. Uh, from a, a business operational perspective, uh, you guys do good business. You know, uh, the, the back and forth, the reciprocation is there so often and you won't even see a thank you or, or, or anything at the end of the day. We're looking for, um, you know, a mutually beneficial back and forth sharing of responsibilities in the, in the relationship. So, you know, I don't think it's much different than, than in any other close arrangement. Joe, what have you got? What are your thoughts? Well, I was going to just make a comment. Uh, size of the carrier or of the third party, does that really, does that matter in, in, if you're talking about a partner? I mean, you know, when, when I was an active shipper, I mean, we had partners, they tended to be the, the larger carriers because again, they could, they, like uh, Nathan said, they bring a lot to the table. As I step back and I uh, think about it, I mean, a partner could be, a niche carrier, a guy with 25 trucks, it could be a guy with, you know, 100 trucks. As long as they're bringing value, as long as they're they're working, you know, hand in glove with the shipper. So I, I don't know if you have any comments about the size of the partner. Our bread and butter is with smaller asset carriers. Um, I think, you know, John, I know you've posted uh, the percentages. I don't know if it's like 90% of all trucking companies are you know, under one 20. to five trucks. Yeah. So um, to be quite honest with, for us, we love working with the smaller carriers because we're important to them um, and yeah. they're important to us. The The communication is better, you know, some you know, for the most part better. Um, they want to grow and, you know, as long as they perform, um, you know, and communicate, that's, it's a win-win for everybody. Um, the, the only thing that stops us really is the first off, you know, you gotta have, you, you can't, we, we make it a point. We can't do with one or two trucks. Um, right. the guys right. with one or two trucks, just because th there's no coverage, you know, if, if they're running a consistent lane and they break down, you know, flat tire, stuck in a snowstorm, whatever, uh, your, your chances of recovery and successful delivery are a lot less. So, um, you know, the, the one and twos, uh, we really can't do the, the five to tens to 20 or more. Um, those are, those are great. Um, and the only really, th the thing that really holds us back on those, uh, to be quite honest is, you know, some of our insurance requirements. Um, it's a very challenging world out there, uh, as far as legalities and so forth. So, um, ensuring that people have the appropriate coverages is probably our biggest challenge, you know, uh, as far as, you know, bringing in those smaller carriers. So if I'm listening to what you're saying, I would agree with, um, I would agree with it. When you start looking at, uh, positionally where you are with your vendors and where we are with our shippers, uh, you know, if you do uh, one to three loads a week with somebody, you know, that's very small, there's not much value or commitment together at that level that, you know, if those one to three shipments a week, they don't happen, you know, it's not, it's not the end of the world, right? So, you know, if you're, if I'm you and I'm a shipper, I want to align myself with people that, that want to need me uh, as much as I need the the service and the communication and, and everything that that relationship brings, I think that brings a healthy relationship. I think if you compare Joe back to size, I think the big box store store um, trucking companies they have their niche. Yeah, right. Absolutely. They have, 
they have their niche. I mean, if you're, you know, if you're hauling, uh, uh, you know, pillows, TP, you know, things that maybe aren't so urgent or, or uh, time sensitive or have a shelf life, you know, I think that, you know, those type of uh, scenarios probably bring value from a cost perspective. But from a service and a commitment perspective in our industry, you know, mostly frozen refrigerated food and, and high value and high service level items that are high visibility, uh, then you're going to have to partner uh, with people, I think, that, that value, you know, the relationship as much as you do. And it's, it's got to be... It's got to be equal when you set that on the scales, don't you think? Absolutely. It can't be one-sided. The, the problem in this, well, when, <clears throat> again, when I was an active shipper, the problem I always saw was that it was, it, a lot of times it was one way. You know, we, we'd go to conferences and we talked to other shippers and it was like, you know, they some of these guys just loved hammering carriers and it's one way, it's my way, the highway, all that. So, I mean, you know, at Nestle, <clears throat> when I was at Nestle, we tried to be more open and and trying to be a better partner. Again, not to every carrier. You can't do it to every carrier, but to, you know, to the key carriers. And you know, some of those carriers were mid-sized carriers. Some of them were large, and a few of them were small, maybe 25 trucks. But they, they like you said, they had a niche. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, um you know, I've mentioned it before, Nathan. Uh, we truly appreciate the partnership that, that you bring to the table with us and the balance and the fit uh, that we bring to each other. And, uh, it, you know, it matters to us. And hopefully, you know, in the future, uh, we continue to, to, to grow and do more together and, and partner, you know, as long as it is beneficial for both parties. I think that... Um, I think the partnership is where, you know, you're going to go out and you'll do things for each other that maybe cost you uh, because it's, it's all in, it's in the big picture of the commitment and the relationship. Sure. I would agree with that. All right. Well, um, any questions? Anything that would bring value to a shipper that maybe we aren't seeing, Nathan? The basics, you know, the communication, the service doing what you say you're going to do those, you know, those in its simplest terms, you know, the, the mainstays of our industry, you guys do a very good job at. And, um, you know, I, like I said, there's, there's no secret recipe. It's, it's really just, it's being honest, it's communicating, it's negotiating and proactive problem solving. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, that, so, you know, like I said, there's no secret. Um, you just, you guys do a good job at the thing, you know, the things that matter. Very good. Well, we appreciate that. Thank you very much. I think that's the end of this one. Okay. All uh, right. By the way, John, I do want to add one last thing. Oh, yes. um, Triple T holds the record for, you know, we had that unfortunate incident, uh, the driver that was in an accident a yeah. few you know, a month ago, um, you guys hold the record for taking care of it, period. Hands down. Uh, it was literally one week we were discussing it in our claims meetings, and the next week it was off of off of the meeting schedule. So much appreciated. We, we appreciate, you know, the, the way you operate with us. Uh, we operate that same level with everyone we do business with. So, uh, you know, you entrust us with your freight and the responsibilities that go with that. We want to take the ownership of it and make everybody whole immediately. And we'll deal with it on the backside. But I think that, to us, that sends a statement that we're here to do good business at a higher level of commitment than everyone else. All right. All right. We'll talk you to you guys soon. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you.